In my experience, women operate on two sets of preconceived notions, one about themselves and the other about the situation, both of which are interlinked. It's imperative for us to bust these two myths. Myth number one, negotiation is a battle. It's an aggressive confrontation. No, it's a collective problem-solving exercise. It's a shared brainstorming session. Myth number two, women are bad at negotiation. They need to be combative because it's a battle. No, women are effective. They're collaborative and that's what's needed. First, women underestimate the category of cases that are negotiable. The problem is that when you underestimate, you don't get corrected. No one comes back to you and says, hey, that was actually something you could have asked for. Men, on the other hand, overestimate all that can be negotiated and then get corrected. Men find that outer limit by pushing the envelope unabashedly. Secondly, women worry about the social consequences of their actions more than men. They are concerned about being viewed as greedy, pushy, demanding, and again, research shows that their fears are not unfounded. They are punished more than men for asking. As a consequence of these and other factors, we have the gender pay gap. Simply put, women make approximately 70% of what men make for the same work because they're less likely to negotiate their first salary.